Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. I'm Surush and this is the uh, SketchUp Park Studio new tutorial with new version of the uh, SketchUp 2024 and I think it's the uh, big release for the uh, fans who are really crazy about SketchUp. In this version we have lots of new improvements which related to graphic, uh, styles and performance of these favorite and likely software. We have multiple links about the improvements and how you can find them out below this video. So before we start this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. I'm going to show you this heavy model in here which I downloaded from the 3D warehouse and the size of it I think about 33 megabytes and it have thousand types of polygons in here. So absolutely it's heavy but in the new version for the low config PCs and laptops you can see new improvement we don't have any type of necessary lags and it's related to the graphic if you click on the window option model info you can see the uh, for example classification dimension file in here and you can show up the uh, size of it in this place so if I click on the window option click on the preferences and click on the graphics you can see multi type of options which added in the graphic engine and I think it's the big improvement. First off it's related to the new graphic engine if your computer support it. But if it's not supporting you can use the classic graphic engine in here and GPU selection will be turned off for you. If you click on the new graphic you can change the GPU to the uh, for example GTX or IRS Zexy graphic. So it completely depends on you. In the anti-aliasing, you can change it to the 4x from in the uh, ATX, and it completely depends on your graphic card and your system config. So we can see the new improvement, and I think it's really wonderful. Next option related to the uh, styles option in here. So if I click on the view option, click on the uh, faces style, I can see new option which name is ambient occlusion. It's really wonderful for creating new type of visualizings for your employees in different type of projects. How it works? If I turn it up right now from here, or if I click on the paint bucket, collapse the material, click on the style, click on the edit, and click on the face setting. If I go downside and click on the ambient occlusion, right now maybe you can't see what's really happening in your job. But if you turn it off, temporary and change your style to the uh, display in hidden line mode or display in shaded mode i prefer to use hidden line mode in here and click on the uh, ambient occlusion right now look at these edges in here if i click on the ambient occlusion i can see some little bit shadow effect in these places and intersections so if i click on it in here Click on the uh, distance and increase it as I can. You can see this effect will be increased for you. And if I click on the intensity and increase it, absolutely it will increase and show you some type of white glue effect in here. If I click on the uh, line setting and reduce the profile size from the 2 to 1, you can see better view of it. And it's not the clay rendering, but it's some type of new graphical visualizing. And it really helps you to create some super realistic views and visualizings or new type of presentations for your projects and for your employees. So it completely depends on you. I'm going to close all of this setting in here and press Ctrl S. In here, click on the window, model info, statics and purge unused items. I can reduce the uh, file size, click on the fix problems and close it. New option related to the Trimble Connect. If you click on these options, share a link to this model and click on the uh, local file will be save and click on the create new. You can create some new type of project and it helps you to share your 3D model with your employees in different type of places around the world and it's really work very well and you can online showing your presentation without ending your saving your files in crazy ways so i'm going to close it in here 
and I think everything is done about this points. I'm going to add some new file for myself. For example, I'm going to add some new file in here. So this character is new in the components and you can use it in different type of presentations. For example, I'm going to draw some multiple boxes in here like that, like that and like that. So I'm going to extrude all of them in different type of heights. So I'm going to close it, click on it, group it. We have new option which name is add location. It's improved by the previous version of locations and I think it's really good. If you click in here, add location is your first toolbar view. So I'm going to click on it, move it in here and you can see the location icon in this place. If I click on the add location, I can customize my location very well, very easy and it's really useful for creating new type of views for your projects. So you can see first of all, uh, we have some type of location, for example, United Marts. It's not really important. And you can see some type of view in here and it's related to the uh, my shape and you can see it in the background. But when the add location is on, you can't move your uh, cursor or some other camera setting very well. So you can see it in here. Zoom it out. You can check the show model or don't show it. It completely depends on you. First of all, for example, this is my location. For example, I can click on some other place like, for example, London. Sorry, London. And it takes a bit of time. I can click on the change map type in here and change it to the uh, multi type of uh, visions and versions of your map. So it completely depends on you. For example, my project location is someplace like that. You need to move the pin option in here. So I'm going to click on the continue. It takes a little bit time and new options will be appear for you. For example, 2D plan, 3D mesh, mesh density, satellite imagery and some other things like that. So if you want to edit it, it's completely simple and easy. But in here, part of our model on the uh, Iris Street Hill, I don't know where. So if I click on this satellite imagery, I can change my map texture type. So it completely depends on you. I prefer to use satellite imagery for some reasons. And I can click on the 3D mesh in here, increase the mesh density to the high, medium or low. Right now I prefer to use medium. Image provider is the Bing or Digital Globe. It's related to the search engine. So I can change my size of project area and site context like that, clicking, dragging. It completely works very simple and easy. I'm going to click on the import site context and it needs to subscribe some type of context. So I don't want to start it right now. I only want to show you. So if you click on the import site context, it will load some new site context for you and it's really helpful. So all the important details related to it, if I click on the uh, paint bucket in here and click on the uh, shadow, toggle it to my model, you can see better view and better details of your shadows. It's related to the graphic part. If I click on the uh, style option and right now if I add the ambient occlusion, I can create more graphical previews of my model. Very simple and easy. So if I click on the default tray, manage tray, select tray, in here we have some option which name is fog. It's not new but we can use it right now to create some type of realistic views like that. You can see the changes in here, very simple and easy. So it completely depends on you. All the settings which related to your graphic is that in the SketchUp 2024, icons are much smart than the other times and it feels better for the users. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this content is useful for you, 
Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.